The idea is for the vast majority of cases, say angiograms, that you want to be able to process patients safely, obviously, get good quality images, but speed is also of the essence. So you can get people through the lab as quickly as possible. We have a very busy lab, there's always a time pressure to get people through. Uh, and having those setups and there's things like nice quick movement of the C arm, pre-setting so you can just dial in the next, uh, the next angle that you want, does speed things, uh, speed things through. It's great and we use it routinely now. Uh, if we're using monoplane and it's very straightforward, I think it's in biplane that it really comes in. Instead of having to drive both C arms into the correct angle, they'll both move simultaneously into the correct angle accurately. Uh, and I think once you've trained people to use that, uh, it's really very time saving. We've come to a, a setup that we all like, uh, and that's been through a uh, you know, a, a consensus discussion, and we all try and use the same thing, which makes it easier for the lab as a whole. But in theory, as you say, you can set up a sequence of images, a sequence of angles for an angiogram for one operator, and it can vary for another. I personally was surprised at how much you can do on a digital system, particularly the Toshiba system, to change your image. The amount of dose you give, as you say, the sequence of events that you go through. Um, and that was one of the things that I found very helpful at the beginning was having Toshiba there, the technicians there, to take us through that and actually let us set up the system so it gave us the kind of images that we wanted.